Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. So I'm going to look at you and your person, how they feel about you, how they see the relationship and what their next move is and all of that. So what's the energy of this connection for Aquarius? What's the energy of this connection for Aquarius? Okay. Whew. What a contradiction. Five of Swords, Ten of Cups, also Ten of Swords. Some of you... There seems to be a lot of love in this relationship with the Ten of Cups, but there seems to be some conflict going on at home. So there's trouble in the in the household. It doesn't have to mean that you live together. For some of you, it could be that you just have been together for a while. What's this person's energy towards Aquarius? What's their energy towards Aquarius? So we have temperance. They seem to be waiting patiently here for change with the will, will of fortune. They could be a Sagittarius, but they're waiting on kind of divine timing. They're just waiting to feel like it's the right time to move forward and make a change. But they seem to have positive change in mind. What's Aquarius energy towards this person? What's Aquarius energy towards their person? Okay. So you have a lot of love for this person. You do want commitment. You want this to, to last and be stable with the Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, the feelings, the emotions, the spiritual connection that you feel here is definitely real, but this person, they, they just, just seem to be waiting for something. I don't know. What's the... Sorry, what went on in the recent past with Aquarius? What went on in the recent past here? Recent past energy for Aquarius in love. Okay. Some of you may have recently had a child for this person or this person had a child with you if you're male. But there seems to be... In the past, things may have been... Like you may have had to be defensive in the past. This person may not have been ready to be in a relationship. Kids or not, they may have had this like not so mature way of dealing with the relationship the hierophant some of you might be married to this person as i said earlier it seems like there's some marriage energy or just a long-term relationship that's been going on let me get some insight for you Need some insight into aquarius you have the phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and change mind so that goes with what this person is wanting with this um will of fortune change We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, go with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed, used, charmed or used, enable boundaries. This could have been your past relationship. Some of you could, this could be this person, seeing as the five of swords is here. They could be someone who causes a lot of conflicts in this relationship unnecessarily we have keys on a stick many options decisions unconventional string along one night stand i'm here i'm feeling that some of you are some of you have another option meaning you are done with this like you've been with this person who's been um quite narcissistic or just conflicting all the time to explore exploring other options for some of you we have coffee cup meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, 
feel, feeling uplifted in friendships. So some of you may have friends that encourage you to take care of yourself and do better here than, than this person. Let me look at the main spread because it's getting confusing, but it does look like some of you have been with, been dealing with this person for a while. Okay, let's look at your person. What is going on with Aquarius, the person that they're dealing with? What's their feelings towards Aquarius? What's their feelings towards Aquarius? My goodness. What's the next move with Aquarius? What's this person's energy like? Okay. Crying over spilt milk, this person is. So if there is separation, they are upset about this. person has a fear of growing up a fear of fear of growing up maturing being you know ha having responsibilities some of you so there might be an apology on the way however for some of you it's like there, there might be someone else i feel like there's someone new coming in or has already come in this seems to be well, definitely early, I felt like it was picking up on an ex, but some of you it could be the current person. But there's someone who's crying over you, like missing you with the Five of Cups. Seven of Cups is how they're seeing you, though. Some of you might be seeing, might be dealing with a player who's seeing you, seeing you as an option, as it says with this card here, just being keys on a ring. We have the Nine of Cups. That's how they view the relationship, wish fulfillment, having it all. But for some of you, if you're dealing with a player who has other options, they're just greedy. They want to have their cake and eat it too. They just want to have it all. A whole bunch of people, a bunch of options. And some of you may have walked away from this type of person. They are missing you, but they haven't changed. They have a fear of change. They don't want to grow up and be mature and be responsible and faithful. We have the death card as their wishes. They do wish to transform. They wish for a new beginning here. They wish to kind of start over with you, but it's like if they don't wish to change themselves, then there's no point in them wasting your time. But they do have an offer for you. This is their next move, the Ace of Cups. So you might get this person coming back to you and sweet talking, but it doesn't mean they've changed because clearly they don't want to. And the position of what you need to know is the lovers. So that, that that does speak of cheating. And the outcome is temperance. They could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio. They have a fear of betrayal. This person is very guarded and, and they don't really put their heart out there. And they have a fear of being betrayed. They have a fear of, of being, of having done to them what they're doing to other people. So while they're betraying other people, betraying you, they have a fear that someone might do that to them. So kind of silly, but that's people for you. Let me look at your side of things. What's going on with Aquarius when it comes to this situation? What's going on with Aquarius? How do they feel? How do they view the relationship? The Aquarius energy towards the situation, towards this person. Some of you, oh my gosh, this is not all of you, but there, there are some of you who are going to act like you don't know what's going on here with that two of swords. 
while you're seeing this person offer you the apology some of you are gonna act like you don't know that they are doing wrong not all of you but someone who's watching is gonna do that you will find yourself looking elsewhere but oh boy you've seen them as a page of cups so you know that they have an apology for you you know that they're coming forward they may have done this before um, the five of cups is how you see in the relationship you you are crying over the, the relationship they're crying over the relationship it really does look like the empath narcissist relationship where this person has like their own issues they have childhood wounds and you are their medicine but then when they get full when they feel better they just drop you and then when they feel bad again they start crying over the relationship and coming back to you so you know what is this what you want you know what i mean to be someone's just to fill someone's cup and leave yourself empty we have your fears the four of four of pentacles some of you have a fear this person may never open up and you might be clinging to this relationship as a fear of being alone some of you might be thinking you know at least i have someone but your wishes six of wands you do wish to have success in love you do wish to have some kind of relationship goals going on but we have the queen of cups in the center so you are intuitive and emotional um connected with your emotions and really giving your heart all the time what's blocking is the sun so the fact that you stay positive about even the worst types of situations can be a downfall for you as well your next move the seven of one some of you might shut this person out you might start to see the truth and push them away position of what of what you need to know queen of pentacles so it's like some of you may find that this person is married if you're not married to them there could be a mistress there could be a baby mother or just a whole nother person here because we've got the queen of pentacles when it's in the position of something you need to know and it's a person there's a person that you need to know about okay the high priestess as the outcome you will gain a lot of wisdom from this situation you will learn about the whole narcissist and the empath relationship and how just how this person and why this person chooses to drain you they <clears throat> they genuinely feel a loss when you are separated but their intentions when you're together are just to fill themselves up with your energy with your time your love and then when they feel like they've had enough they leave and you're just left to pick up the pieces so that's kind of what's gonna make you realize and become more spiritually awake and intuitive because you start to see the truth and the value of your energy and then from there you'll know to give it to someone who deserves it let me clarify something quickly let me clarify these two down here why the seven of wands why is aquarius next move the seven of wands the moon see finding out some kind of truth and pushing this person away some of you the truth might hurt but you will finally feel like you've had enough why the queen of pentacles that's what aquarius needs to know so maybe this person <laughs> I'm hearing gigolo, okay. Some of you, this person might have a rich female um, taking care of them or giving them money. Or you could be that that woman or man who is giving this person money. But I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing gigolo. That's such a funny word, but giving this person money. 
So, boy, some of you might be dealing with someone who is married and they lie and say they're gonna leave their wife or husband. There's, there's, there's a secret here that is just, it's gonna cause you to, to push this person away. It's gonna, it's gonna make you become more enlightened, more wise. And it's gonna make you listen to your intuition and trust your intuition more. Cause I'm hearing that for some of you, your intuition has been telling you something, but you have been ignoring it. And when you see it play out, you'll be like, wow, I'm intuitive. I should listen to this inner voice when it speaks. Cause clearly it's been right. Okay. So trust your inner voice. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy towards others. Lighthearted energy, not all of your energy. Okay. Because that's how you get into the situation with someone who just wants all of your energy and gives nothing in return. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Some of you might meet someone on vacation. You could be on vacation with your person. We have past life relationship. You've known each other before, so a karmic relationship has been going on with you and this person. We have given your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. We have children. Your love, your love life is being affected by children. This could be this person's childish behavior and the fact that they just don't want to grow up. Some of you might be dealing with someone who has kids outside the relationship or has someone pregnant. But there's some kind of secret like that that you may find you might you might choose some of you might choose to work on it seeing that this is right this give your relationship a chance is right next to the two of swords that is telling me that some of you are turning a blind eye to what's going on just to keep the person i know that's not everybody but they know who they are um but whether you decide to give to see the truth now or later you will see the truth okay and you'll learn that your energy is valuable and that someone who is narcissistic or childish doesn't want to grow up or doesn't want to put in effort does not deserve your energy okay this person they just want to drain you for some of you this could be an ex if this if this sounds more like your ex and you're with someone now and the relationship is great then don't think that this is the current person if it's you know whoever it sounds like to you so if your current person is great you won't find out some kind of weird secret about them this is more so about whoever is or hasn't been great in your life this person here we have romance big happy changes no need to worry and communicate clearly so get in the truth being open about what you want observe their reaction is what i'm hearing when you when you're open you communicate clearly about what you want what you expect see what they say if they for example if they say something like your expe expectations are too high then that's a red flag it means that they don't ever plan to step up they don't ever plan to be this king of pentacles they're afraid of this king of pentacles and that means it's time to move on because no one should tell you that your expectations are too high. Because your expectations are your expectations. You don't have to bend to please the world. You'll find someone who meets those expectations. Doesn't mean you have to settle for a childish person just because they think that you should because they don't have no one else other than their other options. But anyways, Aquarius, this is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this was helpful. Um, just find out the truth for yourself. This is just a general reading. Find out the truth for yourself and see from there. So check your other placements if this didn't quite resonate or if you wanna know what else is going on. Leave a like. I still have noisy neighbors upstairs leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one